I have to press the, I have to press the record button if I want to be able to record. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal playing Super Castlevania 4. All right, like I said somewhere in the author description, I'm not guaranteeing one level of video, but I feel like that might kind of appear naturally, except for some very minor exception. Welcome to the graveyard. So hey there, everyone. Scott, I'm playing Castlevania 4 Super. Like I just said, uh, the game does not save. And, and normally, there's a leaf man you can barely see. I remember being barely able to see them on a CRT. Um, there's a spider! Deep in my soul. So, uh, are these nooses? No, I think there's just... Kinda looks like rope, isn't it? On the trees, it's hard to tell if it's accidental or not. Anyway, we're in the yard. We just left Dracula's stable, and now we're in his front yard, and it's... Like, I guess you can have a private garden that would be a forest. That's not impossible. Point is, we're going down this slope. Heck yeah, we're doing it. It's axe time. I need to stop whipping. Here's an armadillo, just having fun. It's like it's just a wild animal. It is not a monster in any way. <laughs> this is why it takes two hits, maybe? Because, you know, like, uh, I'm assuming the bell monsters holy weapons, so, you know, they're particularly effective against the undead. But, like, normal things? Like, it's just a chain, it's just a whip. It's fine, it hurts, but it's unlikely to kill. Hey, I got meat, so and money, meat and money. That's right, that is where we're going with this. All right, so there we clearly saw that inside this pet is spikes. And here's Leaf Man, back again. When you kill him, there's four flames. I don't get it. Don't try to get it. It's fine. There's nothing to get. Oh, this guy's on a speedy journey to the world of zombies. And when you kill them, their soul flies away. Like, I don't know how else to interpret that. It's pretty funny. Is that funny? I don't know. I don't know how to interpret that. Anyway, this is a muddier part of the garden. This is not the part of the garden you show off when you have visitors. There's nice crows, though. And they blow up in the feathers. Yeah, let us. Let us take care of you. That's what someone might have said at some point. Probably. I don't know. Check it out. There's a candle. And there's a bat. See, bats, they just kind of fly, you know? They know what they're doing. Crows, though. I'm assuming they don't somehow. Let's do some platforming. And there's a little frog! Who's excited about little frog, right? I am going to throw an axe at nothing. I wanted to hit the bird. That didn't work out. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but Frog moves around a lot and he's a little tiny little guy. I kind of don't want to fight him, so I'm not. <laughs> that, whoa! That is a mighty leap you had there. Uh, there are, there is a ROM hack out there for this game that uh, does something that increases uh, SRAM. So you avoid a lot of the um, slowdowns that you will experience playing this game. Uh, I have opted to get out of all of that, though. I want the real experience as it was back in the day. Like, this little log-like bridge fun. Like, that one is very stiff, the bridge in the back. Same log. Different log, I'm guessing. Different company <laughs> made it. Different contractors were high. Whoa! I destroyed your bone? But you survived. Did I get a 1-up? I think I got a 1-up. I think P is at 0 five, right? Yeah, you count your life with speed or pies. Everyone knows that. Oh my gosh, it's boss time! Probably. It's boss time! It's a naked lady! Yeah, it's, it's full-on torso action here. Oh, I might die? Is this my first death? It is not my first death. But boy, howdy, we're close. Also, it's not the end of the level. You might have noticed um, on a map there was like a little bat, like pictogram. Yeah, that's where the boss is. Spoiler, the boss is at the end of the level. <laughs> All the time. Except World 2, where Medusa just kind of hangs out at the midway. Then we're on the rushing river. Whoosh. See, you heard the f f f sound? Yeah, the tide changed direction. You can tell by the little bubbles. Um, it is not farts from Belmont's ankles shockingly also oh I'm invincible i also always thought these like imp demon men that are flying around that are huge as a kid i always thought it looked so cool and i thought it was so weird that they're just like a dumb guy that just kind of floats without any attacks like all it does is 
basically be a, I don't know, an eerie. That is massive that you can just hit. Watch out for the skeleton monster head zone. Yeah, don't touch the spikes, too. If you can help. See, like, he's, he's there. Uh, he's gone. Here's the hand. Watch out for hand. Uh, everyone, welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, between the two. It's just... Look, these are so strong. Because look how much, how slow it is. The fact that the projectile is slow is an advantage. Because it just kind of sticks around. Like, it is a zoning tool in a non-fighting game. And it's so good. It is, like, absolutely fantastic. And my whip goes whip whip a lot. That is accurate. Never before have I said something so accurate in my life. Yeah, we're moving on. So, like I said, I'm, I'm moving on to World 3. I am not satisfied in my playing of the Castlevania. So we're doing two levels. We go down the river. And uh, that leads us to a cave? And then it looks like more water up there. And see the bat is at the end of the level. Shocking. So I remember back in the day, here, World 3 is already where things started to get noticeably higher. Uh, by the way, the water is water. It's not going to hurt you. And Clayman will hurt the frame rate. That's what it does. That's, that's, look, that's just how it is. That's just how it is be. The music here takes a decidedly more atmospheric tone. We are not rocking out anymore. We are serious spelunking. A bat just flew at me. Rocks are floating. Everything you want out of life. But the music is still good. It is like just fantastical. All right, you got like prizes up here, right? Maybe? I don't know nothing about nothing. Aw, oh, man. Well, I got a I mean, Axe is good. Axe is a very powerful anti-air. Like, do not besmirch uh, Axe. Also, this is a solid rock that you can- Oh, there you go. <laughs> See, if I had a plus one or, a, uh, well, like a, a bonus multiplier, I'd be so mad. But I don't, and I'm full. I don't need this meat. When did I get filled up? Was it when we crossed over to World 3? I thought we didn't. Uh, okay, so uh, not getting a crystal post Medusa means we kept all our hearts. But I also thought that it means that my health wouldn't be restored, but I'm, I'm wrong on that detail. Obviously. I'm not complaining. It gives me more axe. Tornadoes. That's a tornado to throw. Willy and Nilly together at last. Hey, Clayman! Splitting into pieces as best as you can! You're so dangerous moving back and forth away from me. I don't know if I can get hearts higher than like 99. I don't know how that's gonna look like. We're gonna find out soon, looks like, unless I just start chugging things everywhere. That rocks, trembling. Like, you might have noticed I've stopped before stalactites like this before. I remember some falling. I forgot that the tail was not so much a tail, but an extremely loud declaration of intent. <laughs> Slightly different. I don't even need a duck. They just get bopped. Uh, here we go. Hit the skeleton. Bone right in the mouth. So here, here is where things start dying, I remember. Spoiler, this log bridge is not gonna be here for long. It didn't even last as long as a sentence. What's in here? Like, what can you risk your life for? I'm just curious. You can risk your life for something that is not worth it. Little Sparky here, invincible. You know, he's just spin, spinning a yarn and in circle. Do not mess around with. So 99, I had 96. Now I'm back 98. Yeah, I think that it will not let you store more than 99 hearts. Because a big heart is five. Whoa. Is that a heart? There we go. And if I throw it, yeah, it didn't underflow or anything. It just stopped being. Thank you for the swing set, Mr. Bat. You're lovely as always. And you're featured on a box art. Uh, there we go. Oh, so I just can't help hitting the candles and getting the things up. I don't know, there's something satisfying about hitting the candles to get the power-ups that I don't get anymore from hitting, like, a question block. I don't know what it is, but it's there. 
So this is a fun thing. You see, maybe you saw I see that I said that I did. Is that uh, I made my web strong more. Like you can rip or you can go rip or you can do that. These are real things you can do with a web. If you're careful. And you drink all your... Oh shoot. I'm alive. Don't worry about it. Alright. Drink all your shoots and you will be good. Heart in my face. It smells like wood. Weird. Alright, so here we get transparency, which is hard to do. This game has a lot of showing off going on, but it's done in a way that if you don't know, like you don't know. It's 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 showing off to people who know. And uh, that's the best kind, because it doesn't get in the way. Asterisk. Well, <laughs> uh, that's just not worth the risk, man. Like I can't I want I wanna keep this weapon. I, uh, I don't need hearts. I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep hoofing it. Welcome to where things actually start getting hard, maybe, eventually, and stop making a lie around me. Look at the merman graphics, they're great. Also, it's just this weird rock falls. They look weird to me. I don't know why. So you gotta take your time, we gotta get a rock on your head. Or not. There's eyeball! Yeah! Eyeball sounds! It goes blah blah! It's great. Oh, and there are these guys hailing from the original Castlevania. Just a spine with a face. One of the strongest enemies that ever exists. Dragons of any form. Serpents of any form. You know what? I'm gonna start using my tools because... Yeah, like, I just, I can't. Oh, there's a chicken. There's a wet chicken. I'm assuming it's wet. And I didn't get it. It faded away! Yeah, aw, oh, dang it! Fart zone. Very mad at this. Not mad mad, but disappointed. Whoa. Whoa. Ugh. I'm gonna kill Eyeball Man. Did it. Kill Eyeball Man. Waterfall! And that fish? Yeah, it's got, like, goes patchouli? Yeah, no. It's water jet. Like, it hurts. You can cut diamond with that kind of nonsense. Do you want to have your diamonds cut? Probably not here. Maybe other places, but not here. Woo! I thought I messed that up. I thought I messed up that jump. I did not miss up that jump. I did some free gardening at Dracula's Aqueduct. I, I don't know how to describe this place. There's Santa. I don't know why I called him Santa as a kid. That don't make no sense. But I did. I remember this. Oh, it was fun. Blow up world! I took damage first, though, so... And then you get your feet wet! Yeah. Fantastic. Skiller man. I, got, I don't know if you're the type to throw bones. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of certain things. Here we go. So these bricks, like, you see the, like, the lack of texture, right? That's right. We saw those earlier in the level. Are you paying attention? You better be. This guy is, like, impossible to get hit by, and he doesn't reward you with anything. It's almost like they knew. Then the water just falls again. It's fun with that. Oh, okay. So here we're gonna be testing our timing. Uh, or we're gonna test or something. All right, he's kind of afraid because yeah, like his everything will hurt. This is not a shock. Can I hit you? I think when he dies, he becomes a pile of money, which I don't know. He's just got all the hearts. But I'm. This is what's. Oh shoot! This crow. Oh jeez. Uh. Yeah, that's how I died! A bunch of crows! A bunch of crows shows up, they're like, hey, wanna join our crow party? No! I don't! There we go, finally. First death. Oh, whoops, the crucifix is on top, yeah. I still... okay, uh, whoop. Whoop. The statue will not get to me from where it is. Like, yeah, it's fireballs go far, but, like, it still needs to be on screen to be able to fireball at all. I forget if the short change and the long chain has the same strength and it's strictly a range thing. Like, I genuinely forgot. So, you will not get this information from me right now, immediately. I'm sorry to say. You know what, I didn't get an orb, that's why I didn't stop when I stopped. That, that's my logic. Alright, so last time, bird time. Alright, well this time bird time went by a lot better. 
What happened? I did not get immediately overwhelmed and I just destroyed everyone. Okay, well that's fun. There's meat I could have used, uh, now it shall instantly disappear. Meat don't last very long here. Uh, okay, so you gotta walk here, and then you jump back around. Oh, I don't have a sub-weapon here. That's bad. Do you know why that's bad? Because it's boss time, Mr. Guy. Because I can't just sit back here. Why would I want to just sit back here? I don't know what would make me say such a foolish thing. Maybe it's the presence of two laggy sea serpents? Maybe that's what inspiring me to stay away? With fireballs at night, swing me right into the drink? That could happen. That could happen. The lag serpent. Powerful servant. In Drax Aqueduct. Would a Dracula need water? Maybe if he has guests over, but even then, like, I feel like, oh shoot. Not, I wasn't pushing a drink. That's very nice of you, honestly. I appreciate the concern. You were instantly skeletized by a whip chain. How does that work? I messed it up! This is the worst! I am the absolute worst Belmont in the universe. What is this pose? What does this mean? Are you reciting something? Ridiculous. Next time, a little bit of a preview. After going through the aqueduct, we're gonna go up a tower, then we're gonna go back down the tower. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing anything, we just are, okay?